Hey, good evening, everyone. Happy Easter for those who celebrate, and thanks for tuning in tonight for the last day of March 2024. Joined tonight by Sean, Gavin, and Andrew. As your, your, we can talk your, to you. your mic, by the way, is a little hot. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. it's a little overmodulated. It, 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 it kind of sucks, to be honest. So That's weird, that huh? Earlier. Ah, well, let me, uh, I'll get y'all introduction, start off, and then uh, I'll reset Mike. So, Sean, Gavin, uh, Andrew, how are you doing tonight? How's everything been? Um, happy Trans Awareness Day. That's what I have to say. And fuck anybody that has a problem with it. I mean, yeah. That was, I mean, yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, yeah it's, That's it's, right, goddammit. I'm bringing that shit to your stream. You should. No, 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 you should. I mean, but obviously, setting it on Easter is a horrible idea. Well, no. That's a, Easter, uh, that's a joke. Easter, it's a joke. No, no. Yeah. Easter's the one that moves around. Exactly. This, this, this day has been around for a little bit. And so Easter's the one who can't pick a fucking day. You know what Christmas yeah. does? 25th every year. They got it figured out. <laughs> they, got, they got that Jesus holiday all figured out with a day. No, they, 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 <laughs> Oh, Christ, they just, come back to life any time at this time of year. It's like, ah, pff, pick a day, pick a number. No, 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 no. We're going to jump around. So you, so you have to look at the calendar. That's why. Easter should be in fucking April. God damn it. It should be. Yeah, it should be. It's, it's pretty early this year. It's, yeah, it's super it's, early. Yeah, it's Spring early. equinox it's my ass. Early. Yeah, someone's going to be really mad. That I'm being very... <laughs> They're 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 gonna tune in, get upset, and then just leave. So, anyway, Sean hates yeah. Jesus. I think Jesus is awesome. I think people who follow them are a bunch of assholes. That's fair. That's Jesus fair. Is, I would have a beer with Jesus, and I don't drink. So, that's how much I like. I love the Jesus guy. I think Jesus is more of a wine guy, though. Have wine guy. Well, I mean, you never run out, and I'm sure he's like, you know, it's like, hey, I heard you could serve. Yeah, yeah. It's just, what do you want? Also, I was very, but I will say, I was very disappointed by the new Ghostbusters movie. Why? It was fine. A, su a supreme lack of muncher. Oh, who cares? Yeah, I didn't. <laughs> I'm joking. It was fine. Yeah, it, was, it was fine. If you like Ghostbusters, like, go like see it. critics hated that movie, and I'm like, oh shit. Am I walk into it? I walk into it. It's like, yeah, it was outside, fine. outside of the unnecessary lesbian ghost story. Um, <laughs> And I'm oh. not saying, and I'm not saying about anything about being lesbian. It's like that's totally fine. It's just it, that there, it was filler. They, they had they had so much shit they tried to fit in there. Uh, it's like yeah, okay. But look, the one thing I didn't understand. And this is off topic, and there's a lot. But okay, but why did she talk like someone who died in 2020? Maybe I'm she just... did. No, it was never really established when she died. Yeah, so. but she said. Uh, yeah, but I think tenement. I mean, she could I she said she died in a tenement fire. So I assumed like. You know, eighteen eighties to eight to nine to like nineteen tens in that area. But well, yeah, she certainly like she did died. not talk like someone who lived back then. Exactly, um, exactly. Is, is is that all she did while she was a ghost? Just learn teenage slang every year. I mean, possibly if you're hanging around that park playing ghost chess with people. So yeah, okay, I, I guess yeah. I guess I guess you adjust. I guess she did. Okay. I mean, Swiggy, even though Ghostbusters was okay and we need to go see Godzilla vs. Kong, you know what's awesome, though, is X Men 97. That's well, what's I saw, awesome. I saw Godzilla vs. Kong. I saw Godzilla Kong this weekend. I'll see it How again. Was it? Uh, I liked it a little bit better than Ghostbusters, It, but they both fit into the it's totally fine realm. I was entertained. If you like it, if you like the IP, you'll like it. If you don't like the IP, I don't see it changing your mind. I'll is it just it's because fun. it's definitely a tribute to like more Showa era? No, it's no, it's just, it's just it's a totally fine movie. It's you want I to mean, do a tribute to the Showa era? You you fucking put on fucking suits and put real people on a set ex somewhere. Exactly. I mean that's fair. That's fair. I'm thinking of Godzilla doing the ridiculous stuff that Godzilla would do. I heard Godzilla's Showa. barely in it. Yeah, but that's the yeah. entire that's the entire <sighs> monster verse. Godzilla only shows Godzilla shows up for like ten minutes collects his paycheck and leaves. Although there was, although there was, they did do one, they, they did steal a bit from the Simpsons. Uh, Sean, you'll remember this one. Remember when Disney's lawyers come after Skinner? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. copyright, it stayed, yeah. 
Yeah, the, the, the copyright stuff. It's so, so, so they had the principal Skinner like beats the beats the fuck out of Disney lawyers with his like uh, green beret kung fu, basically. Exa- exactly, and one's running yeah. away, and he chucks the suitcase at the other. They did that. They did see that, that was a bit. great bit when you think the one guy is going to get away yeah. and he chucks something from a distance. That 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 that's instant yep. humor. Right? E- exact yeah. exact same bit. Exact same bit in that movie. See, I, I don't mind if you borrow from great Simpsons moments mm-hmm. like that. Or it's just like <laughs> the happiest place on earth. <laughs> anyway, uh, do we want to talk football or else Sinners Cowboys is going to leave in disgust and like? No, no. But we're gonna we're gonna talk softball. Yeah, let's talk football because you know we have what the spring game is going to be here in less than a month at this point. Um, we've yeah, had our first we're, spring we're like we're like twenty days away, literally. So and I'm not going because I don't go to the spring games unless Sean's here. My, I, go to, you I, should go to the spring game. No, spring games are a waste of time. I don't I don't enjoy spring games. They're glorified Pretty scrimmages. Much period. Well, of yeah. course, of course, they're scrimmages. I'd fucking I would go to this spring game. Absolutely, I'd go. Yeah, Especially but when there's it's a SEC, meet and greet with a, a guy who played Colossus and X Men up in Tulsa the same day, and I think I'm going to go do that. Instead. Like, who the fuck cares? This is like, you're you're, you're going to watch potentially the best defense we've had since nine, two thousand nine. I got oh nine, and it's like, I won't go see the voice of Colossus. He's coming. To no, Tulsa. the actor in the X Men films. I'm going to go see the guy who was the voice of Colossus because he was the CG was the real actor. No, the guy in like Deadpool and stuff, that Colossus. I'm going to go see cause he's the guy who was the voice of Colossus because <laughs> he was basically a CG character. Uh... I don't go to spring games. Like, unless it's like company I go with, they don't mean anything to me. I don't want to deal with the hassle of the traffic. But then again, I say that and then the I'm going to try to go see the The hassle of the travel, you live in fucking like South OKC, don't you? It's like a no. fucking 15 minute drive. Oh, that's cute. 15 minutes. I wish. You know <laughs> what I mean, motherfucker. <laughs> for, for it's, it, it, That's like me driving from Altamont to fucking Kissimmee or some bullshit. That's like, fair. If, if that. I just don't. Ever, Games. I wish they did more. Remember when they honored or... Baker Mayfield and Kyler Murray? That was neat. Yeah. And now we don't have that. Now it's a come support the team as we go into the SEC. You do realize okay. like, all the offseason content, like starting pretty much from now i mean it's gonna go it's gonna go official official in july but it's all gonna get the sec fucking eyeballs and extra attention and like oh i know it's gonna be a lot more fun. i know and to me nothing's gonna ever top that spring game let's talk about how iowa state um, is our toughest home game this year guys no fuck that shit we're not doing that shit i'm happy about i'll circle back around to that a sec i think it's if i was to go I just don't think anything's going to beat that one, the uh, spring game after the Sugar Bowl or the spring game, like Baker returning to his uh, senior year. Those were legitimate. And the one we went to, like those three are like the best ones. Don't you want to see ones, John been... Burks like burn our entire secondary because he's like so fast and he's like, he like a uh, Gabe Iker declared he was a baby of Mark Clayton and Sterling Shepard. Um, but am, how much? I, and, 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 how could you look, not? Be, how could you not be for gay marriage after a comparison like that? <laughs> oh. Here, but are you really? Here's my question: Are you buying into the law of the spring practice hype at the moment, or are you doing like kind of the advice you've given everybody of like, I don't pick and choose which ones because you're going to hear the reports that well, no, this I is don't the best go, team ever. This is the I, best I don't go ever. no, I don't go no, nuts over day one shit. I hear what's the most consistent thing you're hearing. And as of right now, the most consistent thing you're hearing is like this is like gonna be the best defense we've had in a while. Yeah, well, well and... let's, let's go, yeah, like let's let's kind of break that down because like you're talking defense. I've heard little things here and there, like defense is probably gonna be the unit to watch for, but the D line is a little undersized. They said they gotta bulk them up probably by yeah, and, and guess what? They're, they are and, really small. And, and guess what? They're they're still kicking ass. So I mean, yeah, that they need to bulk up for the long haul, absolutely. And they're they're gonna go get they're trying to get that one guy from Indiana to transfer in. They're they're fighting off other suitors, but I think with you know I think they're selling him. Look, Jacob Lacey got hurt. We need you to take his spot as a starter. And the D line, as far as I'm concerned, is 
got the necessary pieces for the long haul. They just got to, Grayson Halton's got to put on weight. You know, he's getting rave reviews, but Jaden Jackson by the end of the year might be a starter. Like, like that, that's where things you... are trending right now. Cause he's already like 295 <laughs> or two yeah. or, or like 298. And it's like, yeah, don't worry. Give him a, give him, make sure he supersizes his meal on the reg. So he gets over that 300 pound mark. Um, and then David Stone is going to play a lot, regardless of what he weighs. So yeah, it, Dad was asking yeah. me that. I'm like, I, he ain't gonna be playing day one, but I'm like, I <laughs> David Stone I, is gonna fuck up somebody's Christmas this season. It's gonna be great. yeah. I'm like, I'm expecting him to be a starter, maybe by Tennessee, maybe a little bit later, but he'll be a starter by the end of the year. Like, I mean, yeah. I, I don't know, like, like David Stone and, and Jaden Jackson are going to be at worst, at the absolute worst, in the quote unquote rotation. So, um, all I care, there is no, I'm not hearing any like, oh my God, the defense is, if we, we don't get, no, I'm not hearing any shit about holes in the defense. If anything, it's the offense. And I mean, we've known about that. Yeah. Yeah, mostly the O-line. Mostly. We've got yeah. 12 All-American guys at corner, and they're all going to play somehow. I don't know how that's going to yeah. work. But like, uh, rotation's going to be a pretty Des good Malone's going to be great. Like, Who the fuck is Des Malone? I don't know who he is, but everyone says he's great. He's the I have no We're idea who he is. <laughs> it's like Des Malone's they, coming in, and he's going to be great. What about I Kendall Bill? Only- oh, he's playing too, but don't worry. Like, They're going to... I saw like, this on. He's gonna be. He's gonna like stand on top of his shoulders, and there'll be like a. It's gonna be like the 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 Vincent Adultman from Bojack Horseman. Hello, other grown up. <laughs> I uh, saw on uh, uh, Twitter guys that, and I I don't know the full info for it because I'm playing catch up on some of the spring practice myself uh, from it. But I think it was concerning defense. I think the only thing I saw was. Uh, Canic potentially like being like uh, he may be going down the depth chart, like he may lose his job essentially. I breaking, don't know what breaking the breaking word. breaking news. Canic is actually turning it around, from what I am hearing. Oh, good, 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 good. Yeah, yeah I'm like not not like literally, but like in the last 24 hours, like oh, actually Canic is doing better. Oh, okay, cool. <laughs> so, is it just rust or something? Maybe that they've had uh, going into spring practice. Well, it, it's probably this acclimation of like being in a program for a couple of years and learning and developing and some guys develop at a slower rate than others and you know everyone wanted him to be this fucking superman as a true freshman in 2022 he's gonna solve all our linebacker problem no he's not um why is it canic playing he's not ready it's like you you people don't re- you people don't remember what it takes to be a linebacker in a brent medibles defense sometimes it takes a minute so um yeah. lewis carter is gonna be carried out on handcuffs on a football field for murdering somebody this year um i'm god he just his trigger speed and i say that in 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 a most complimentary way like when he like he 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 will get called for targeting when it's not targeting and they'll have to review it they'll have to review it and overturn it or something like he he like i'm just like i am so excited for lewis carter and what he could potentially do so it's just who do you if you if um, and maybe they don't and it's just more of a throwing it out there question um based on who the projected who in your opinion projected starters would be um versus the newcomers who is most likely to start by the end of the year and who's most likely to be in second or rotational um i mean besides david stone oh you mean just like the entire defense like yeah just a couple guys just i I don't know like your starters could be your starters can be just like your more experienced guys. So like, you know, Ethan Downs is probably going to start, you know what I mean? Yeah. And so yeah, Dejon yeah. Terry is probably going to start, you know? And so, yeah, it, it's like, yeah, it's just, unless you're just that fucking dude at some point, I, I don't see any young guys taking a spot right away. Unless you're just, he, he is him type of thing. Um, uh just you know they're trying to figure out like i know they're trying to figure out to saw mccullough like they're like he's finally getting healthy because he had he literally got like both of his knees got banged up big time in bedlam and yeah. so he, he was not the same after that and so he's just now getting healthy fucking uh 
and the, the, they're trying to move him around. And, and what about Harrington? He's still recovering. Like he, he's still he's not a hundred percent yet. So, and you know, speaking of you know ACLs, like you know we're you know we're waiting uh, on Troy. No, like a our uh, fucking our Tyler. wide receiver. No, our wide receiver from last year, uh, from Andrew. Andrew Anthony. I, cause I'm, yeah, I'm, I was going to ask you because we were talking he, defense. What are we looking at right now? Because it sounds like, I mean, I'm, I'm going to be. He might. I, Andrew might be. Uh, Andrew sounds like he's having a minor like setback from injury, and they don't know what he's. They may have to fix something again in his knee, which sucks. So, um, all I know is that. You know, like we have any like Kip Lewis and Seattle Embassy. Like so many guys are getting like talked about, and you gotta like okay, at some point you have to filter out who's flashing, who's doing this, and who's actually gonna start and make plays and actually contribute on the reg. So yeah. I think the one guy you need to keep an eye on to put just that's as, here right now practicing. That's an early enrollee. Well, well, no, I'm not even talking about that. What I'm talking about is like, I think Kobe McKenzie may not be long for the program. Um, just the way things are going, he, it doesn't seem like he is, you know, developing. It seems like he's regressing. Um, I'm hoping for the best. Like, I'm hoping that he's got like three more weeks to like do something, but, um, I'm not. Do you think he? I mean, that was going to be a question too. Do we like Kobe McKenzie is like the one guy where I'm like, well, if he were if he were to drop in the portal in sometime in the end of April, I wouldn't be shocked. Um, but you never know. So, but there's just I'm not worried about linebacker would, death right now. I'm just not. Like Kip Lewis is going to be awesome again. Uh, I know he he was allegedly a little dinged up in practice, but I'm sure he's gonna be fine. Um, Where, who would you put in uh, over um, what's it called? If McKenzie leaves, who would you put in his spot at that point? Well, Dan, well, Danny is running the show, and you got Kip Lewis too. So I'm not really worried about inside linebacker at the moment. So it's just I'm hoping like if Kobe were to not be long for this, then whatever. So. I mean, it sucks. You know, we're. But is um, there anybody else we're potentially on the lookout for for uh, uh, the, going to the portal? Sure, there's gonna there'll be guys who'll hit the portal. I just, I just couldn't tell you like who's like imminent right now. It just depends how. There's just gonna be guys who, and this is around the country because at, like, Josh Pate is like saying the portal is gonna come and everyone's gonna be shocked. And it's like it's gonna be like great for people like me to go. Great portal things are happening. So, uh, because <laughs> Josh we have a shop, Pate, though, like we have a shop, we know we have a shopping over everything. Well, no, we have a shopping list. Uh, I don't like people need to understand about the offensive line. And there's fucking morons out there who say, uh, we're gonna be fine because I watched film. You didn't watch the film. Like, you can just say, I watched film, we're gonna be fine. Motherfucker, here's when it comes to the offensive line, there are two things I know about the offensive line. Guard play is going to be awesome because it seems like Fabici, oh, I, oh, oh, I'm going to fuck up his name every time, so I'll say it five different ways. I love the kid. He's going to be great, and Heath Ozeda apparently is going to be the man as well. So you have your left, as of right now, you the way things are projecting, you have your left and right guard. Pray for Josh Everett. From what it sounds like, people are intimating he, his spring is done, not his season. Ooh. But he's fucking done for the spring, from what it sounds like. So he's your projected starting center. I don't know who, like, Joshua Bates is the guy people think of because everyone assumes he, like, he needs, he, he needs to take those. There's reps. no one behind him. Well, if it's Joshua Bates or if you just want to plug in another guard that you like at that spot, which is a very good possibility. You have a lot of talented interior guys, so if if Troy Everett can't go for whatever reason, or if this thing lingers, you need to find another guy for that spot. So I don't know if you put in a freshman who you really like who could play that spot, but I mean, like I I, I was like scared to death and like fuck, you can't lose your starting center potentially because you just don't. 
Um, but it sounds like he'll, you know, we're still, I'm still waiting to hear more. I'm sure Brent is going to be asked that question over the next three weeks. Like, how's Josh Everett? How's Josh Everett? Like, if their people are doing their jobs, they'll ask that question. But the tackle spots to me, I, I'm not sold on the tackle spots yet. Because people tell me Jacob Sexton and Spencer Brown are the guys. Like, okay, but I'm not like... <sighs> Spencer Brown was a dude at Michigan State. The Tarkin kid from USC was just a dude at USC who was an undersized tackle. Like, there's nobody who makes me go, yeah, glad we got that guy right now. No one's putting that faith in my, from, what I, from what I'm seeing or hearing. But someone on Twitter watched film. <sighs> Jesus Christ. People on Twitter. You can have a good day. And I want film. Like that, it's like, film on what? Game. We're going to the SEC. And that's what people are don't not understanding. We're going to the fucking SEC this year. I don't it's care. It's a lot tougher in there, too. And the consistency is a lot different in the SEC than the Big Ten Spencer and all that. Spencer Brown and Jacob Sexton are good enough to like do shit in the Big 12. All right. Great. Um, that Texas game we had, we're going to have like three or four of those. All right. That, that's kind yeah. of the point. And it doesn't mean, we're, doesn't mean we're going to lose all of them. It just means it's a rough day at the office if your tackle spot, spot starts selling up. Sean, so. I have to tell you something, though. Look, I found this guy's name. I saw five clips on YouTube. His five best plays oh, ever. We're set. We're set. We're set. I saw his five best plays ever. I don't need to see anything else. Nothing. Look, it, it's like I said, when the portal opens in a few weeks, because it opens on the 15th, Tamper like a champion today. I don't give a fuck. Tamper like a champion. I mean, is today. it really tampering if there's no rules at this point? It's kind which of a free. Is, which is why I openly say tamper like I, a champion I, today. I mean, yeah. Bama. Cl- I mean, Bama clearly tampered with Proctor again. If you can steal someone's oh, future yeah. first round pick at fucking tackle, be my yeah. guest. Like, Go uh, for it, bro. Like, like, Do on. it. Like, 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 come on, man. Like, come on. It's that. I mean, there's, I mean, there are no consequences, but like announcing you're leaving in February is just like, yeah, man, you were tampered with. Tamper like a champion today. Yeah, so just do I, it. I just, just, just do it. Doesn't matter anymore. Doesn't yeah, because matter. what's going to happen? We, 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 we want, e- we, we, didn't we want evidence. LSU, we didn't get the kid from LSU, uh, which I really, really wanted. That would have been about, that would have made life so much better. But what kid was that? I'm trying to remember. <sighs> he, he was like this, he was this big time former five star and I his I think it was was it like Lance Hurd or something like that? I totally forgot. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. So but anyway, the point is is that if you told if you told me right now, like forget the conversation we had, that if there our conversation was man, this offensive line's got like 75 combined starts, you know, we're replacing a couple starters, but it's the interior guys. We think Ozeda and Fabici are going to be good, but we love our tackles. Do, I, I would be really hyping up this team this year, really hyping up. But the truth of the matter is the first team defense is fucking shit up right now. Now we can be hyped up for the defense thinking it's the best we've had in a while, which could be true. But is it that good? Or is it yeah. that good in practice because the O-line is just that bad? So or, that's something that's always been on my mind. Because yeah, when when we when uh, when like Mike Hawkins is going up against second team defense and his reps, um, you know the two deep is not quite as elite across the board. If you get my drift, so like the O line right now, you do not have an established O line. You do not have a Tyler Guyton at right. You do not have. You, you don't even have potentially a Walter Rouse right now. So they're going to have to go out and get one or two guys in the O-line regardless. They're probably going to, like, they're honestly, like, regardless of how this, how ever it turns out, like, they may get two guys in the interior just because as much as I like the talent, there's a lot of true freshmen in that, in that group. And you don't, just because you can play true freshmen doesn't mean you should have to play true freshmen. They're going to go, they're gonna go kick the tires on some guards too, just just in case. You're gonna go try to find another center just in case. So I'm just, uh, you know, like I think this is like I, I, the, I'm with you. Por- I'm worried about the O line. This portal. I mean, I listen. 
is the is the is the O line gonna be that bad? No, because I believe in Beaten Bow, but it still takes four or five weeks for any brand new O line to be established. Even the even ours last year took a while, and Which we had some guys, we have was, a couple games to, to get that going. But I mean, but the entire O line is I, brand. I, the entire O line yeah. for starters is brand fucking new. Like yeah. you know, I, I go back, you know, as a you know, every night for a lullaby, I go back and watch the end of that Texas game. Every time I see replays, I see that an old line is not there anymore. Everyone is gone. There's no Andrew Rain. There's no McCabe Tower, which, to my in my opinion, that's an upgrade considering where we're at right now. All due respect to McCade, but you know, I look at Tyler Guyton at the right side, I'm like oh, I'll miss you, sir. And Walter Rouse, uh, not like. Do we have a Walter Rouse who can block two Texas players at the same time at the biggest play of the year? I don't know. So it's just that that is the one like scary, you know, uh, uh, you know, Achilles heel we might have. Jackson Arnold could be fucking awesome. It's not going to matter if people can't block for him for three and a half, four seconds to get a pass down the field. So, right. but our hey man, our defense has it like, listen. People are talking about defenses all across the country. What defenses are going to be great? No one's talking about us, which is fine. I don't expect them to, but I still stand yeah. with the. I still stand based on the idea that, like, I'm looking around and it's like there are not too many teams not named Georgia and maybe one or two others. I can say they'll have more experienced and more talent on defense than Oklahoma right now. There's not yeah. a lot of teams that can say that. Mm. So what you're telling me that, uh, I mean. Yeah, yeah. Like Georgia's on another planet. They're like the Borg and the Delta Quadrant. We're like season one, like Star Trek: The Next Generation, like a fucking Enterprise crew. So you know we could easily get fucked up if we're not careful. Um, that's a really big nerd reference there. Shout out to the late eighties <laughs> television. Um, but for real, it's just <laughs> like we and got yet, the sh- we we got the we shiny new Inter- that we, we, we got the shiny new Enterprise D that can you know do saucer separation and all this shit and like all this fun stuff and who knows what we could do in the SEC year one but mm-hmm. I, I just but it's all all of our success is going to it we, it's scary if we, how if, much we could, if we could actually create like... a pa- if we create a pass rush I might nut on my shorts every week so during the season but I mean this reminds me so much of 2009 all over again where the defense is the unit the <laughs> offense oh right our defense is so good but we go eight and four yeah that's, that's I'll be fucking miserable yeah yeah I mean, I, I, I'm be, not saying I mean it'll be better Vegas. than what Vegas projects but still what's Vegas projecting we're gonna win six games <laughs> we're, we're gonna win okay, more than Vegas. six fucking we're I win seriously one. We're, uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna win more than six. Yeah, like we're gonna win our, seven. Our games. non-conference is complete and utter trash. So that's four right there. Um, yeah. South Carolina don't scare me. Uh, nope. Does Tennessee? Sure. Neither Tennessee's does Tennessee. Le- Tennessee's legit, but we can beat them. Yeah, yeah, ten- yeah Tennessee. Nah, I just, I, I'm really, Tennessee I really have an eye on Tennessee. No. Tennessee, Tennessee averages. Tennessee, five listen, to- like. T- t- Listen, really Tennessee's good. got a shiny new freshman quarterback that they like too. So let's not pretend that that's not going to be. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Tennessee is always. Actor, yeah. Tennessee yeah, has a shiny home game. Tennessee has a shiny five star quarterback that they're in love with as well. So let's let's just. Let's, yeah, let's, Tennessee. Let's, yeah, I'm not, yeah, not yeah easy on Tennessee. I don't know. And, and the problem is, they're just basically a mirror image of anything. They're with Nico. The they love Nico. His name is Nico, and he's going to come in, and we're going to celebrate. No, Josh. And- I'm not scared of no Great. Nico. Thank you very much. All right. We, we play a tra- a Auburn team who was trash last year at, on the road, but and then we know. we'll win that. I mean, we'll see. I mean, it depends on <laughs> what Auburn team shows up. Yeah, then again, Auburn, Auburn's always inconsistent. Auburn wins games at home they shouldn't. So, like that that'll be legit. Like what I'm what I'm concerned about, like long term, is like. I want to be Texas again more than anything because you got like douchebags on on Texas football who are like had a stream tonight and one of the one of them like literally I've never seen such flexibility flexibility from a human being in my life like OU gymnastics needs to like scout this guy like because I saw a grown man stretch out you know, from his from you know from his, from his back just like bend completely forward and get his head 
all the way up his ass to take a <laughs> deep sniff of his own farts because he just uttered oh. live on the on the internet airwaves that the toughest wide receivers that Texas will face all year will be in practice each week. That's oh. where they're at right now, ladies and gentlemen. Oh. That's where the Texas fucking press <laughs> They truly believe now. Yikes. Now Jerry Hamilton, yeah. to his credit, Jerry Hamilton, to his credit, would at least was had a list of wide receivers that he's heard of before and gave them their flowers. One of them was Nick Anderson. So, uh, you know, in the typical, you know, Luther Burton at Missouri, and he listed a whole bunch of others. But it's like he at least like had a list of like legitimate players that could give you concern. But literally, it's like this man like literally leaned back, you know, leaned forward. Like a oh yeah, mm, love that methane. So that, that that's what we're like. the The sniffing of farts is in full full uh, motion right now. It is it is going. Hey Texas, I have a question. Texas, I have a question. If your wide receivers are so good, better than last year. Where, where were the touchdowns? Better than last year. Where, where you were know, the Xavier Worthy, where Jordan Winnington? Touchdowns? Better yeah. than last year. So yeah, that's. Yeah, unfortunately. Yeah, you know what? Okay, you know what? Fine. You have the best wide receivers. Who's the guy throwing him the ball? Oh, it's still Quinn. Oh God, oh. no! Oh no, Quinn's going to be first team All SEC preseason. Haven't you heard? Ugh, come on, BC. Now, I thought see, I thought see, it was going to be Ar- Archibald Manning. Archibald. Uh, like, now, see, that's an adventure we haven't gone on yet. Preseason no. SEC teams. You know, people are going to have a fucking fit. From the, the the current SEC crop, if any of our rosters, if any members of our rosters plural, make first team all SEC, they're going to be a fit yeah. because it's yeah, like what you can't put the new guys fit. in right away. It's like you know that's going to happen. You know it's going to happen. I guarantee you there will be Texas players on that list. Yeah, like, there will be for sure. It's what okay? Bad. What yeah, quarter? Definitely. Seriously, what quarterback? <laughs> Seriously. It's a national championship. They, they, but, they, but think about it. They went to the playoff. They, they probably what? should have beaten Washington. What yeah. quarterback? I'm serious right now. What quarterback right now would you put first team all SEC preseason? I want you to think about this. Because who's out there? Who's the guy? Is there that guy right now? I- is it Jackson? Jackson? Well, what, uh, what about that uh, freshman quarterback from Bama? But you're not going to put a freshman quarterback preseason. Maybe you're Carson, not going to do that. Maybe you're Carson gonna... Beck. Yeah, I guess you could put Carson. I, I that's oh. the only you could put Carson Beck on there. But I guarantee you, because they went to that's... Bama and won last year, there's going to be some votes for Quinn. There should be. Now uh, I, there's I, no, going to be should, votes for, and he went there, to the playoff. And there there so, should be like the like the three SC, like the four SEC QBs I can name. And hey, I'm being on. Uh, how many swimming? Tro- how many Big Twelve swimming trophies is it worth? Is the equivalent of like Quinn Ewers being preseason All SEC quarterback? Not enough. How many swimming trophies is that worth? Not I'm enough. I mean, you have, you have what you have <laughs> Dart Ewers. I mean, I guess if they want to go Milrow, but. Who knows what the yeah. hell? I mean, Milro, Milro, no, I mean, Milro. I mean, technically a playoff quarterback. Yeah, yeah Milro is. Yeah, technically. Gosh, that's quarterback. a great question, Sean. Like, I don't. Gosh, I could see them putting Ewers as a preseason quarterback. Would they have the balls to put anybody? Because I, don't, I mean, it, I think they, bet, if you beat bet, Bama, my, I think they would. My if, bet is Becker Milro. That, that those are my two best, but if I was gonna if I was gonna like two guys to potentially, and this is all potential, I'm not saying it's gonna happen. The only two guys I could foresee making preseason all SEC is is Danny and Billy. Yeah, that's fair. That, that's oh I'm yeah, yeah. I, yeah. I was thinking, yeah. are they gonna yeah. make oh, yeah. it? I I don't know. I doubt it because like Caleb Downs has gone back to has, has Caleb Downs officially gone back to Bama yet? No, he has not. No, no. Okay, so he hasn't gone back. So I would like okay. I'm no, so he, of, he's I'm, still he's still at Ohio State for now. I'm thinking of the safety yeah. room, like because like allegedly way, he was that, going back. By the way, that by the way that by the way that should be a rule. If you transfer in if you transfer in the winter, you can't transfer in the spring. What what, what, what the hell? What what the hell? I don't know. Just like yeah. weird shit has happened. So. I, know. I, I just wish we could have gotten Kane Proctor to 
like he transfers to Ohio State, just transfer to OU. He's like, hey, why don't you come to OU? You could, you like crimson? You can wear it here too. It's all good. It's a great well, color scheme. Come on, man. Yeah. <sighs> anyway, <laughs> but um, uh-huh. spring What's... ball. It's um, uh, uh, if you're talking quarterback, and I had to look up their name. Um, with as much love as they're getting, what about Cook from Missouri? No. Oh come on! I wouldn't put him on there. Be serious. Yeah, Missouri, I would Missouri not. Had, no, Missouri had Missouri's. A, Missouri had an okay. They just year, had a genie in a bottle year. That was it. They didn't beat anybody though. Who Missouri beat? What? Maybe Tennessee. Expectations. Yeah. They beat expectations. That, that's what they did. Pretty much. Well, that's. Yeah. I mean, that's why. And the I problem is, is like they're hyping it up. Yeah, and the problem is they're keeping hyping up because they got Nawari, you know, who was like, I don't know, like what, number yeah, one? Or number yeah, two. yeah, yeah, and when Ari's going to single-handedly play, play defense for him. Yeah, <laughs> like, uh, yeah, that's not going to solve all your offensive, you know, you know, prowess and stuff like that, too. So it's like, I'm sorry, but like, all you're just doing is you're just building up all this extra hype that, oh, you know what? We're kind of getting itself. When have you ever been relevant in football other than God, the Chase wanna... Daniel years? God, I want to go to Columbia and make their families humiliated that they're related to them after we play them. I really do. Uh, like, I, I, mean, I, I like, want. Not... Like, you embarrassed our family name on national television. Don't, don't talk to me or my family ever again. You're, just, you're just disowned. Just like, I want it to be that bad. I really do. Like, I, I hate those fuckers so much at this point. Like, you, you got literal like Missouri thinks they're people, and that needs to be put to a stop. It really does. <laughs> no. we, we, we just it, it's just it, it's 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 this is one of the good things about conference realignment is like Missouri has been hiding out of the SEC, thinking they're special, like collecting a paycheck, and now we're like Texas A and M. Yeah, yeah well, A and M has at least beaten teams once in a while to validate their existence. So but Missouri they beat, won the East. Yeah, yeah, but like, that was on a fluke year when they were basically, you know, going through where Georgia was going through a down year. Florida mm. was kind of going through crap after the whole uh, issues that were just going on with Urban Meyer and everything, mm. too. So it was like that East year and everything yeah, was the, just a yeah, Missouri, fluke Missouri, in itself. Missouri failed upwards and then it was all downhill from there. So, yeah, yes. I mean, here's the thing. A&M and Missouri had basically fluke years at the very beginning and then they've kind of just been mediocre and everything else that's you yeah, no, after no, no, no. you know those I, I weird went, years I mean, A&M has been mediocre A&M has been what A&M is like if you look at how A&M's done in the, done in the SEC there's really not like I, put them in the Big 12 there's not that much a, there's not that much a difference so no, Swiggy, what you're saying years. is what, what you're saying is A&M has technically improved because yeah. they're maintaining their actual what they actually have done on yeah. the reg. So what you're saying is, is like, hey, they're doing this in the SEC. So while the record remains the same, <laughs> it's like they're, they're doing it on a higher level. So. They are exactly who they they're they're exactly who they were their entire their last ten. They have the so much more football talent, but still winning like seven games a year on yep. average. Yeah, well, they are who we thought they were. Always. By the way, straight, by the way, uh, by the way, to, bread by the way totally off topic. Strangest thing I saw just because I was walking by it. I was walking by, like you know, the um, I was walking by, like you know, they have the OU sections at Target and everything. I was walking by, I saw a, uh, I saw a University of Missouri mouse pad. How did that? Oh. Get? I was like, how did that get there? Because like it's all OU, all Thunder, all Oklahoma stuff. It's yeah, like, ever, I go by my OU section at Target all the time too down here, and it's yeah. like, the same problem. No, <laughs> same issue. Yeah, I mean, I, I mean, I use, I mean, I usually see a lot a bit of Oklahoma stuff, and then I see a lot of Razorback stuff in the Target. So, well, that's oh, yeah. because though you're like two hours from the border. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. It's like, it's like I am just so tired and all that stuff Where? with everything to being the border. I just wish Target would bring back my gay pride college uh, sports apparel. That'd be great. You would get, get like, so much. Get like rain. Get like rainbow versions of all the logos and stuff. That'd be fantastic. I support the just, cause. Damn it! Just to piss off so many people. 
Oh yeah, like you don't know how many ideas I had over the past week for to do shit for tomorrow, but I just it's not worth the risk of like losing money long term because it's yeah. Like, it's like I I thought about all sorts of things I could do for like to just like you know like do do a fake Texas channel do a do all sorts of things, but it's like eh. I'll probably do something really stupid. Like it's like oh you expected April Fools, here it is. And I'll just like it'll be really stupid and lame, and I'll just like I'll, I'll play the fucking you'll, so, you'll Sopranos it right. N- well, no, I'll, I'll I'll do what I usually do to make a to make people think the clip is longer than it actually is. I'll, I'll just make like the I'll just pad two minutes of the fucking My Little Pony. <laughs> I haven't I haven't broken uh-huh. out that clip. I haven't broken out that clip in a while. The, the screw uh, you, I do the screw. It's I I call it the it's called the screw you. I do what I want clip. It's <laughs> so funny cracks me up every time where it's because nobody like, enjoy because well it's, it's funny to you because you de- you doubly get the reference but for everyone else it's just a silly little cartoon meme where it's just like yeah that's all it is it's just has no reference or anything at all it's dumb but it pisses so many people off and it's great i just have to like edit the impact font to the bottom of whatever i want to say it's just like here you go screw you I so austin brought it up and i do think i would do want to circle back around so uh one of OU's best players, I think, Milos, is now in the transfer portal. And who? dudes, I t- basketball. Who? who the fuck cares about basketball? Seriously, I care about basketball. I don't give a fuck. Who's on? Dude, dude, fucking basketball sucks. <laughs> it does. I, I don't want to talk about Porter Moser uh, and his fucking program like until anyone's good again. You want to call me a fair, fair weather OU basketball fan? I'm a fair weather OU basketball fan. I, actually paid, that's fair. I paid money to go watch that team play against UCF on campus down the road. They fucking sucked. I don't want to hear yeah. how much I'm so sick and tired of hearing how much better that team was this year and they They're still not. couldn't get the fucking job done. Spare me the I don't want to hear that shit. Like Porter Moser fucking sucks. And I don't. I just oh, no. Hey, I'm hey, can you say that of, again? I'm. I am. But Moser, remember, Porter I Moser fucking season. sucks. I'm sick Thank of you. hearing Eddie Radosovich and all these guys go on. It's like people just don't know. It's like you're idiots. Like, no, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. The basketball program is fucking mediocre. I don't care how good the Big Twelve is. Remember when we used to like be decent and make the tournament on the reg at the very least? It's been yeah, three uh-huh. fucking years. Three fucking years we haven't made the goddamn tournament. If you want to have like, I, if I, you I want to say we have a down year, we don't make the tournament this year. It's like I don't care what the environment is. You know who woke up? You know who woke up and wanted to have a fucking basketball program one day? Alabama. Guess where they're at right now? They're going final to fucking four. Arizona. Yeah, final four. Yeah. So yep. don't sit here and tell me that it's like yeah. oh, it's too <laughs> hard. I want to say it's... really fast. Kudos to Bama for beating North Carolina because I had North Carolina in the final four. I thought they looked dominant. They they blew my expectation. Like kudos to Bama for that. So, so I, I don't want to hear this shit about like Although, it's too I, hard or whatever. No, 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 yet, no, no. We can yet, do and it. And here's the funny part. Just, Sean, you find a guy. No Big Twelve team is in the Final Four either. Yeah, they made it to the the eight, but they can kept you pushing. Make We're the, the best league. Fucking tournament. Can you just make the tournament? That's the problem I have. Is just make I always it. thought Josie was always going to give Porter at least the first year in the SEC. I'm at the point of just burn it to the ground at this point. There is you no have to burn it to the ground. Porter. It's just like don't sit here and try to keep selling me Porter Moser anymore because he's not going to do anything. He's a shitty coach. Mm-hmm. Like I think no, unless uh, no one on this uh, team can uh, score, nobody. So and that, to just, me, so that's to me the bigger problem I have is he can't develop players. That's the big yeah. problem I had, and I if, remember. I've discussed it at length with Swiggy. I said yeah. that last season too. I don't yeah. have a problem with yeah, yeah, him playing yeah. defense, but he can't develop players after the yeah, next one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you're not firing a guy after two. You're not firing a guy after two seasons. I, I thought. I here's my. This is where I was. You probably could. You probably should have fired him after this year. I get why they're not. Um, I mean, I'm, I mean, I'm pretty much down on. Mo- I'm pretty much down on Moser on Moser now. And I defended him most of the season, but my but my, but I always said they had to make the tournament this year. If they didn't, they should have just fired him. They probably should have fired him. Uh, well, if they or, win twenty, they're gonna get in. Like, well, if all these upsets and conference tournaments didn't happen, it's like I love yeah. Bopper's Billow, but it's like like yeah, he but fell yeah. for that. He fell for that shit again. 
Yeah, and it's, it's like, un- uh-huh. yeah, it's a yeah. I mean, it's unfortunate, but I yeah. You know, I, I mean, unfortunately, it's where OU basketball is. We we need to be better. We we do. I mean, because even are you like are you basketball expectations are that make the tournament, maybe get a good run. I don't expect gets, to win a natty. And, on the yeah, red. yeah, I, I yeah, don't. Gets, but can yeah, we like if you get the right coach, roll with it. Well, so it, like, uh-huh. can you make the Sweet Sixteen once every three or four years? Can you do that? Yeah, I don't think do. that's much to ask. I no, really not, don't. No, no, to me, every five no. years. And I understand can, that's a product. That's can a product you make the Sweet Sixteen every basketball. three or four years? That's what I'm asking. That's it. Yeah, I don't yeah. need you to make a magical yeah. run. Yeah. We've, we've, we've only had two magical runs in our lifetimes re- in recent memory. Like, uh, yeah. and... O- O2 and 2016. Yeah. So if you like O2 oh, right. yeah. or fucking Kelvin Sampson screwed the pooch against Indiana, we shouldn't have, we should have not lost that fucking game. But yeah. I digress. It, it's just the fact that you know, we got our asses whooped by Villanova. There's no making excuses for that we just got yeah. yeah but the indiana game in 02 pissed me the fuck off we should not have lost that game anyway uh, um, you know what's great you know what's crazy to me and maybe it's that we're, i have less expectations for, for them i don't know how is it that the women's basketball team less resources less recruiting is doing way better than the men's basketball office. Well, women, the sure. oh, it's still the uh, well, women, for years. So. Women well, too. that too. And women's just yeah. uh, there's not as much. Women's is getting a, so women's women's has gotten so much better in just the last decade as far as like parity yeah. goes. But there, you just don't. It women's just isn't as deep as men's. Well, uh, you want to watch a women's basketball game well, that get super fucking ratings tomorrow night? Is it? Iowa oh LSU. yeah! Oh, oh yeah! Oh yeah! Oh hell yeah! I'm watching that. Tonight. Iowa and LSU, that yeah. Party. Fucking fucking Mulkey, and she's like calling out. It's like they're doing a hit piece on me. It's like a hit piece. They did a bio on you that was true. It's like you're yeah, kind of a, I mean, you're, I, you're I, basically I, you're basically a frigid bitch who hates this is, the gays. It's almost like <laughs> uh, like a W. <laughs> I mean, it's like everybody on the women's basketball, like media wise and everything, it's almost turned almost like WWE personalities at this point. That's if she, kind of if she didn't have to, day. if she didn't have to coach a game, she probably would have been fought the fucking capital on January. 6th, I, I, probably. <laughs> what? Yeah. What the crazy? Oh, part oh, oh, the, oh, 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 oh! Hold up, hold up. We got got some news. Uh, for those who do care about OKC Thunder, SGA game winner at Madison Square Garden. Thunder beat the Knicks. Oh, thank you. I appreciate that. That helps me in the Eastern Conference standings. You, you, wait a minute. Why are you going okay. down the wire against the Knicks? Aren't you supposed to win and, the whole fucking uh, and, thing? And you're, think... going to get, you're going down to the wire against the Knicks? The you know, Knicks no, the Knicks are actually good. The Knicks are like a 3-4 seed in the East. No, they're good. Dude, you know what the, you know what the difference is? They're between like, what, like the 44 two wins this season? No, 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 dude. You know what the difference is between the two seed and the six seed? It's like two and a half, three games from everybody. Yeah. Like I'm saying fuck it. Orlando can go me? for that. You, Orlando can, it. Dude, Orlando it's, can get that two seed. Fuck that. Fuck it, man. We're going for it. I, I'm just saying though, if anything, at least I put it's OKC back in the top of the Western Conference standings. So. Yeah, yeah, got, yeah. The number one. Yeah. The Magic one. got the Bucks twice before the end of the regular season. We're going for this <laughs> bitch. We're going for this I motherfucker. Mean, I mean, hey, I'm just gonna say I'm OKC Thunder all in this year with the way yeah. we've been going. But the problem is, I mean, it's uh, the Thunder have a shot. They legit have a. I think I they think can make a too, run. I think they're I too think... young, and I think the Nuggets are too good. But the Thunder, I mean, but the, but don't disrespect the Thunder. Thunder could sneak up on you. Well, no, because here's the thing: the there Thunder's already done with the Nuggets this season and everything. Yeah, but so it, that's yeah, already yeah, done. Yeah, but yeah, but play yeah, but playoff basketball just uh, yeah, but playoff basketball just uh, it's it's like another gear. And you sell a lot, get you sell a lot of young guys. It's just different. That said, I'm not saying this. That said, Thunder gonna 100 percent make a run. I'm just I mean, right now. I'm just until I mean, until you until you beat the Nuggets. I just I, I just have faith in the Nuggets. So. No, I, I I really am having a hard time believing in the Nuggets right now because I think really if anything, Thunder has a chance. I mean, if honestly, yeah, if, you know, yeah. had a be, chance to beat them in a regular season series and all that. You know, which that will give them home court advantage. You know, throughout. Yeah, they'll have a shot. I just, I just always, it's nothing. It really, it's nothing against the Thunder. It's just I always, I just always feel if it's team, if it's young team versus team that won a championship, I'll default to team that's won a championship. 
unless they have just have like horrible vibes like the Warriors. Uh, that the, yeah. The, 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 those vibes are bad. It's but Nuggets still have good vibes. But we'll see. I mean, Thunder definitely. I mean, but yeah, Thunder, Thunder, Thunder could do it. We'll see though. Yeah, I think if yeah. anything, Thunder will be the best. Probably be one of the teams other than probably Boston right now because Boston's just been a beast right now in the East. Yeah. Yeah. Huh? yeah. If, if, if Boston, if Boston, if Boston does not win the East this year, they're just. Straight up, they're straight up not doing it with this group because they're Maybe cursed. Ze- they're zero. Like, like, like when I say there's z, ze- like there's zero reason Boston should not make the should not make the finals this year. Maybe not I mean, winning a championship's hard. So I'm just gonna say if they don't win it, it's fine. They sh- they they probably should win it, but a lot of that's matchup. A lot that goes into a lot of stuff. Legitimately, their 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 head and shoulders is the best team in the East. If they don't do it this year, uh, I don't know what you do if you're Boston, other than just keep running it back. Fuck the Thunder! I'm back. back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What um, where are the Magic sitting at right now, Sean? God damn it! Hold on. This is why we can't have nice things. Yeah. Magic are yeah, magic. Ma- magic are the five oh, seed right, right now. Here. They're like a one and a half. We're, the, we're, we're, we're like one game behind the Knicks, so appreciate it. Yeah. What about um? Fuck New York. <laughs> unrelated to uh, uh, just a quick question while I was thinking of it with NFL. Um, what do y'all think of the uh the change to the kickoff rule and how they're wanting to bring that in to call it? Stupid. Uh, next, next it's just ridiculous. I mean, like, look, it's like it's one thing if you're. Look, if it was just trying to do universal football with college peewee or something, maybe. But like, are you really trying to step steep down lower to you know to need even to, up with the UFL? Need to see. I, I'm I sorry, to, I, no. I, I, I need to see it in action because at this point, kickoffs are just like you can't see it in action. You could just watch the UFL. It's glorified pageant. I don't want to do that. Well, I mean, just, honestly, uh, that's how you want to be able to see it. That's basically you want to watch it. And honestly, I am not a fan of it. I'm sorry, wow. but no, wow. no, 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 no. <laughs> I, I, I guess my question is, I'd like to see it in. I'd like to see it in an, in an actual NFL game before I pass judgment. I, I, I well, let me put it this way. I, I, I'm pro anything that's not just getting rid of kickoffs. But like, if it's too Mickey Mouse and it just doesn't look good, then let's just get rid of kickoff. It's just because these, these last couple of years, kickoff has just been pageantry at this point. Why are we kicking off? Oh, because we have to. And we've done it this way before. So, okay. I, I, you know, I, I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't think you can really make football safer, but mm. we'll see. We'll, we'll see. Hey, I, I, I get some... what you're saying, Gavin. I get what you're saying. Yeah. Here's something I would I would love, and this is just my personal opinion on the kickoff and everything. Even though your team just scored a touchdown, field goal, or whatever the hell you just scored, you, you know, if they can kick it from the 35 or 40 or wherever the hell they're kicking it off and get it at 30 uprights and they get one extra point and the other team gets a ball, I would love to see that. Let, 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 let's see if they can hold return kicks so you can hurt them all you want. <laughs> I, I mean, I, I'm just happy – at what point is it where you just accept that there's going to be danger part of the game? I understand making the game safe. I understand taking out the unnecessary uh, injuries. But at what point is it that's that's what you deal with? That's That comes with the territory. Deal with it and pl- uh, kick off. I'm sorry. Suck it up. Well, they, uh, um, well I mean, they, well, because the NFL is not going to be well, because the NFL doesn't ideally guys wouldn't get hurt because they like having they like having they like having guys available. Um, I say increase the danger. You know, just like go it. Mad Max, go Mad Max two. I do know, NFL. And, and just like just give them and like baseball bats and do an NFL blitz style then. Yeah, yeah. Just do it by and, blitz. and don't forget the wedges okay. too. We gotta have some wedges in there, fellas. Uh, uh, we'll see. We'll see. I'd like to see it in NFL. I'll I'll wait until I see an NFL action. Before I re- before I make any true judgment, I might end up hating it. I might end up liking it. I got no, that's <laughs> which is the most bo- which is the most Magic Johnson ass statement I've ever said. Uh, and, 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 what, and, what, and, what what what's your what's your gut right now? 
my gut, is, my gut is people will complain, and it'll, my gut is people will complain, but it'll probably be fine. And they'll, and if it's not good, and if it's not working how they want it to, they'll just tinker with it again, because that's what I mean. Because that's what the NFL does. They just, they'll just keep a, they'll, they'll just keep on a tinkering. Which, I, which, hey, I'll give the NFL this, even though I think they've made dumbass decisions in the past. See, being able to review past interference, at least they're willing to try. I, 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 I don't want to praise the NFL, but I guess. But all I'm saying is, at least they're willing to try stuff to make the game better. Maybe this will. I don't know, but we'll see. I, I mean, I, you've already heard my opinion, and and the other thing too is like the whole issue. Like, if they want to do a onside kick, oh, we got to tell the ref and everything, and the ref will tell the other team. It's like. You know what's gonna take out the element of surprise if you're wanting to do the onside kick? I mean, I mean, the oh, problem okay. is, it's like to be fair, Gavin. There's only been one surprise onside. There's only been one surprise onside kick in history I, that people remember. And I that was from Pat McAfee. <laughs> I mean, what? honestly, it's like you, you know, it's like you gotta have a little bit, a little bit of a wrinkle in there somewhere. We'll see. I, 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 I'll say. I so far, I think I'm gonna like it more than where we've been, just because. Uh, I mean, I hate. To, I just hate. We come back from commercial break. Oh, okay, we kick it out of the end zone. Yay! What, 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 what was what? the point of that? What was the point? I, 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 well, genuinely, I genuinely hate this topic. So okay. I'm just gonna. Be, okay. It's I'll, not I'll, not your responses or your thoughts on it. I, I just generally hate this topic. Okay. okay. <laughs> more topic that people hate, Sean. That people are getting tired of conference realignment and a- ACC in the Florida State. <laughs> what do you want to talk about that for? Uh, there's, no, there's nothing new there. And because Florida State's probably going to win their uh, lawsuit. Are you sure? I mean, yeah, I mean, there ain't no guarantees to, right now. I listened to the opening arguments. The ACC had some strong points in the beginning, but then they just were floundering the entire time after okay, that. Here, and I'm like, current, I think that Florida State's going to get off on a technicality. Here's the current problem that, that they and Clemson have. As of right now, there are two places they either want to go. Where do you think those places are? Who pick me, pick the me. Big 12 I know, and the pack pick, 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 pick me, I know. <laughs> big 10 and SEC. Yeah, and guess what? You know who doesn't want anybody right at this very moment? At this uh, oh, very moment uh, we're talking. Oh, pick me, pick me. I know who oh, pick me. Uh, yeah. Is it uh, the ma- is it uh, the Mountain West? Oh, you are so close. Oh, damn it! No, no, sorry. I meant Pat, Big, Big Ten and SEC because they're full. They don't want to compete. Yeah. So what the fuck wise. is going to happen if they win yeah. this thing and they're like, now, if the Big Ten is not in a hurry to grab them? That's not going to encourage the SEC to try to grab them because the only reason the SEC would try to gr- would try to grab them is so the Big Ten don't do it, and no one's in a hurry to expand right now. Yeah, is that will a, they ex- now that will they is, expand? Probably again. Is that a are they going to do it right now? Probably not. Well, yeah. Well, yeah. Because well, yeah. Because the is. Yeah, I mean the TV contract is what the TV contract is for a bit. You don't want yeah. you don't want you don't want to divide it up anymore. You don't want more competition with talent until you see how things shake out. Like, do you think and Clemson, this is a? And, 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 you know, and, and there's here's the thing: Clemson's been an okay program. They've been hitting above their weight the last. They've been they hit above their weight for a few years, but Clemson's kind of returned to that. And like 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 really okay, Clemson. Yeah, uh, not even Clemsoning, but uh, but okay, but even taking that away, what does Clemson, what does Clemson add to the SEC? Well, I'm not even talking about Clemson per se, because you know you can yeah. you know I I know for a fact South Carolina and Florida want nothing to do with them and the like, with those two in the SEC. Yeah, but I mean honestly, Florida Florida got... State's the program that you assume yeah. has the the cachet and the the branding but according to some people that that branding and cachet is not as strong as they think it is in their little bubble which shocks the fuck out of me because Florida State's one of those programs that is in like big TV rating numbers on the reg you know we 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 went over that like that top 18 program list like a month yeah. or two ago and Florida State was on the list like so 
hell, when OU played Florida State back in 11, it was one of the higher rated college football games on ABC, like in a long time. So to me, it's like I get the Clemson thing. It's like, yeah, we're not in a hurry to get Clemson. Florida State is shocking to me from that aspect that they don't want to add Florida State. Hell, the SEC wanted to add Florida State years back, but, you know, Florida fucking made a hissy fit over that and put a stop to that shit. Um, and that's your saying. I mean, I mean, I mean, they, be- they, they were going to try to add them like in 91 or, yeah. or something, but they just. Well, and, it, and Sean, you said this yeah, before. Be- the only yeah, reason the second. SEC would take Florida State if they want to do the Big Ten is to stop the Big Ten from getting into Florida. Yeah, but if the Big Ten yeah. isn't in a hurry to grab them, then Which there's no try. hurry. So Florida Which State, they, you yeah. once upon a time was an independent. But that was back in the era where there was like 30 independent schools and that shrunk over time. And now there's only really one that people give a shit about. And it's the only, like the only program that if they said, I want to join a power conference in football tomorrow. And if it was Notre Dame, that's where people are lining up with offers. Yeah. Like that's the only <laughs> program that actually for, I mean, what, love I don't or hate, agree with you. Love or hate them, like there is like a fucking number. Everyone, uh, literally, uh, everybody yeah. wants Notre Dame because it that's the last it just, brand. It doesn't matter; they don't do anything of no. They they still they're, they're old money. Yeah, they're, mm-hmm. they're like the fucking people that like own the color blue or some shit. You know, it's just like, it's, 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 it's old. Sean, Sean, you're telling me you just don't bow down to Notre Dame and their obs- complete obsession with Newt Rotney? They're the last of the Habsburgs. That's who they, they are. They got an unhealthy obsession with Jesus, as far as I'm concerned. And I think Jesus needs to have a talking to with him. <laughs> the, yeah, it's no, like, dude, I, I get mean, it. You love me, but, you know, no, it sounds funny. like you're really in love with Jesus. Like you want to make love to Jesus. But yeah, I mean, yeah which I said, bro. I love Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> but, Again, you know, though, it's... Uh, realign, re, uh, re, realignment's going to do what's going to do. I mean, I but I do agree with Sean. It's uh, from everything we've from everything we've seen, Florida State's throwing a really good hissy fit. But there's they're going to win. I mean, what they're going to win, Swiggy, from it is a lower buyout. That's what's it's gonna going happen. to be. It's literally going to be SpongeBob and Patrick. Well, we've saved the town meme. Now what? Hooray! We hey, saved- you know what's worse than one giant paint bubble? <laughs> Two giant paint bubbles. Yeah, <laughs> I mean, you're not town. wrong. Yeah, yeah, it's yeah, it's unfortunate. Like I said, yeah, I, it's, yeah, uh, I mean, I, I mean, look, I mean, it's what it is. It's how the, it's how this is going. I mean, but they, I mean, there's a lot. I mean, there's a lot of stuff in college sports that's going to be changing. But like whatever. you know, Washington State and Oregon State joining the Mountain West, you know, because we're going to keep this thing. You're not going to keep this thing going, guys. Like, you yeah, know, join the Mountain West. But the, yeah, but they have the, I. But their their situation right now is, and I think I think I think I saw they were getting. I think they saw they were making a deal with the CW. <laughs> I don't know. I, no. I, I don't know. I oh think boy, it, I, the CW. I think. Yeah, yeah, what's I, crazy about it is that the CW just, just basically borrowed ESPN's graphics too, which is like, you know, you, you can add like. You can make your own graphics. Why are you borrowing ESPN's graphics if you're on the CW? Because the CW, because the CW is owned by a lot. Because the CW is owned by like a lot of different people. It's like Hulu. Uh, it's just, uh, but, I, I, but, 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 but yeah, it's. I mean, I don't know. I don't think it's the worst. That's, yeah, I mean, that's not the worst idea for them. Because the thing is, the Mountain West is probably going to. I, 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 who, who knows what the Mountain West is going to try and do with them? I'm I just, mean, honestly, you can I mean, you can make your own graphics and everything. It ain't that hard to do, but like. You know, don't do a copy and paste. I mean, of like, I mean to, pay, to be fair, to, Gavin, it you have is to pay people, Gavin. It's a lot. I mean, Gavin, the big, the big thing, and you know, from working with the, uh, um, in studio, it's not necessarily the graphics. If they don't have the equipment for it, then uh, you're you're outsourcing it at that point. I, like I uh, know the boards it's, and everything, and I even know, then, you it, still have to. Even then, like building the right graphics does take time. I'm not. I I don't disagree with you. At all on it, I'm I'm kind of on the same boat for it, but at that point, 
they're just subcontracting ESPN on the CW. Yeah, yeah, no, it, it's just kind of like one of those things. It's like you know, you could have had that thought out a little bit more, better process and everything, and and that you know, but that's just my two cents. I that's... mean, it's be- I mean, it's I still think it's better for them than going with like than going like Prime or whatever. We're not when when nobody would ever nobody would nobody's watching. But Oregon then again, the Prime, you know, it's almost Prime. like yeah, like they nobody's have, like, watching their Prime. Own. I, I mean, yeah. they will. I mean, they will if it's something big or it's like oh. an NFL game. But yeah, some but, of us are watching Invincible every week. Yeah, so. uh, yeah uh, uh, Invincible's good. But the, and, but I mean, but the, uh, sports. But no, no one's going. No one's. No one's going to watch Prime for those two teams. Uh, so I mean, so, not for those. I mean, C, CW at least gives them. You can either. Try it gives them to something read. on a normal television yeah. set versus streaming. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, and you can, but, and, you can the, and, and, and you can try and rebuild. I don't think they'll be successful. I think eventually the plan is. I think eventually they're just gonna get absorbed by Mountain West or something else. But I can see. But I don't. But they're. But 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 if you get that deal now, try and build value and see what happens. That's your best option. So. Mm-hmm. Or whatever. What. No, it was, and like I said, I, I understand it. Like, conference realignment is going to do its own thing. Just like I, I um, some friends of mine, and I think Swiggy, I mentioned it to you. I haven't mentioned it to Gavin yet. Um, about a couple of months back of, oh, oh, you move into the SEC, us OSU people, we're going to get uh, uh, good primetime spots. Yeah, joke's on you, chuckle fucks. You've got two Friday night games now, <laughs> and they're yeah. pissed. I'm like, sucks to be you guys. If you don't like Fridays, yeah. Tuesdays are always available. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Gone going Mac Bowling. Yeah. I mean, yeah. it's a I'm not surprised that was gonna happen. I I'm more surprised that cities are moving towards like doing some legislation to say that you can't have uh called games on Friday nights. That I'm a little more surprised on, but I'm yeah, not. No, I'm not no, I'm not that that that's in I at just all. I I'm. It's not for high school football. It's just for uh, security purposes. You don't have enough officers. Like that. I, I get it, but uh, yeah. Whatever. Yeah. I. I mean, I'm just gonna say. And, and, if and if I, they can't get enough officers, your football program is not that important to begin with. W- well, no. Okay, I'm just kind of going off a bit of a tangent here, and because uh, and I and I just kind of have this whole personal feeling and all that, and everything else too, because like, um you know, from security purposes and stuff like that. And everything has been one thing though, too. Cause, um, and, and Josh, you might remember this or not. I'm not sure, but like, if you remember the issue that happened over at shock tall, you know, a couple months ago and everything too. Yeah. When, um, yeah. When all that craziness and everything else. So too. And it's like, and that's the other issue that I have though, too, because it's like, if you have games on Friday nights and you're going to basically kind of spread yourself out, you know, too, from, from just more of a police standpoint and security standpoint, which, you know, that's another issue going on right there. And especially with, you know, all these games and everything going into, you know, even though OU is going to the SEC and having their own issues, but having those games on Friday nights and then all the high school games and stuff like that, though, too, and especially on some places where they don't have the resources, you know, that can just create issues within itself. Yeah, that's why it's been a Tuesday, mostly. Speaking of that, um, while I'm thinking of that as well, uh, didn't uh, it come out that... Uh, college football's first round was competing against like wild card weekend or something. So we're actually going to see who has the higher numbers NFL over uh, college football. Or am I remembering it wrong? They're not going head to head. That's not happening. Uh, no. It was on the it, same day or something like that. It might, it might be on the same day. It's not going to go head to head with an NFL game. That is not happening. No, that's what I thought too, was it wasn't the same time slot, but it was, uh, like one's at three o'clock and then one's at like eight o'clock. Yeah, like you'll have like at noon, here's your college football playoff game at three thirty, here's NFL wild card weekend. That's what's gonna happen. That's what so I thought. It's too. not gonna um, go head to head. Like you, you know now, what is gonna go head to head. The NFL is <laughs> going to get their their spots because guess what? They're number one with a bullet. And um it's a college football zone like like a college football has been using these Saturdays for all these years. So why should the NFL give them up when they put good use to them? So yeah, it's just, but well, no, like a major college football playoff game is never 
ever, ever going head to head with an NFL game. Period. Because the NFL would it win would every be time. fucking suicide. Yeah. Yeah. Someone would die. Someone would. Someone. Would yeah. Die. T- uh, yeah. You would see people, TV executives, jumping out of fucking buildings. So they'd be like, yeah. "Oh, why did I sign that deal?" <laughs> yeah. You, I My mean, career though, NFL, is over. I mean, to be fair, though, the NFL, is, unlike with college football, where they're at least willing to accommodate. No, they said on Christmas, though, like, no, we're going to add a second game. <laughs> bye bye, yeah. NBA. Yeah, the NFL doesn't care about the NBA's Christmas. So, oh, you have, yeah. Oh, you've been playing Christmas games all day? Like, yeah, guess what? No, no one cares. Oh, about, yeah. And I, no one cares about a good NBA. friend of mine. Uh, no, one cares. He, no, no one cares about the NBA. No one cares. Well, I, I, my buddy, he's a. We just good, had a long um, conversation about the NBA like 15 minutes ago, and we're just like. Yeah, but yeah, it, well, yeah, but a, yeah, 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 but as opposed to yeah, I'm saying compared to football, but yeah, yeah, as opposed to football, like, come on. Well, my buddy, he even said like, if I had to choose between one, he's like, I'm watching NFL and I love NBA. He's like, I'm obsessed with NBA. I'm a season ticket holder for uh, the Thunder, and he was like a sponsor for the Thunder. He's like, I'm watching NFL every minute. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Ooh, hit the mascot in the head. Neat. What? Oh, I'm playing. How- what? I'm playing NCAA 14. Oh, <laughs> uh, you're getting. Uh, we're we're I, getting I, closer, Sean. We're getting I threw, closer. I, I, I threw the ball and I hit a big owl in the head. Um, oh. He didn't react, so I, I overthrew the ball out of the end zone. Uh, oh, hey, Are hey, you looking uh, forward to uh, oh, the game? Oh, I hate hey, one thing. Sorry, I, I got to take off. So great okay. talking with you guys tonight. As always, talk again. <laughs> talk again next time we do it. Have a great night. You too. See you, Swiggy. All right. See, See you, Swiggy. Bye. Sean, are you looking forward to NCAA or not NCAA college football? College football twenty twenty four. No, because that game doesn't exist. It's twenty five, my dude. Is it twenty five? I thought it was twenty four. Well, twenty five. It's twenty five. You always do the year ahead, Josh. Don't you not realize that when we did NCAA fourteen, that it was on the twenty thirteen. I don't play the sports game, so not really. Not my. Not my cup of tea. Yeah. But no, are you still looking forward to it? No. I'm trying not. to keep myself contained from excitement because it's like I don't know if it's going to be basically the same copy and paste that we've had from the years past, which I know. Uh, no, it won't be because be. they are. They're they're not because it's going to be they, built from the ground up. They've made the game from uh, fucking scratch. They made the game from fucking scratch. Why do you think it was delayed? Yeah, they built it from scratch. Yeah, I the, every, hate asset, all of you people who say it's going to be a copy and paste, not you specifically, but so many people are fucking stupid who say that shit. It's not going to be a copy and paste game. Ugh. It's not like if, it uses I mean, the same. It uses the same engine as Matt. That's not how engines work. Yeah, you know how many games yeah. use the Unreal Tournament engine over the years? They didn't all play like Unreal Tournament. Yeah. Uh, I'm sorry. That's a pet peeve of mine for years when I hear people say that. That's shit. people who don't know coding. Not you. You Gavin. don't even have to I'm know coding. You sorry. don't even have to know about coding. Yeah. You just have to know this is what engines are. This is how they work. Nah, but it's easier to complain about it. Yeah, but they think it's gonna. It, they think it's gonna turn out like Madden. That's why people are upset about it. All right, like it's it's EA. If you want to hate on it, hate on. It. And here here's the thing: it's year one. Like it's it's not good. If you think it's just going to be a continuation from when where fourteen left off, you're gonna be very disappointed. No, it's gonna be. A completely I, I don't. Different no, game. it's like uh, yeah. Like it's going to be. There's going to be some obviously better graphics and new type of game like all these things like yeah there's gonna be some shit missing from the game that you think will be in the game and it's not gonna be their fault like they're trying i'm going to give them better of the doubt here they're like for example coaches will not be in the game this year just they couldn't figure that shit out yet so you're gonna have generic coaches you're gonna have multiple players in the game except arch manning because you know he's special because he, he doesn't want to be a distraction. I, I just want to let you know, my dad was very, very impressed by that rant. He's like, wow, he turned that into a 10-minute rant. That was good. 
about what, what about the arch manning not wanting to be in the video game he's like but what does he lose by not i'm like you're asking the right questions he doesn't lose anything he uh, just he's like all right guys i'm not good enough to be in the game oh so your other teammates who are backups are are, are good are and the are thing he kept so- doubling down well i am that good i just don't want to make them bad it's a video game I'm not taking any NIL because I'm like, oh, fuck you. Yeah. You act like you're, 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 you're not some poor kid from the projects who's trying to earn everything. You're from a rich fucking family. You silver spoon fed motherfucker. Yeah. God, I hope Quinn tweaks an ankle the week before Red River. Please. I want to see our D line just destroy him. Please, I want I I want I want Ethan Downs to literally urinate on him on the grass on the Cotton Bowl. I just want him to get ejected. I I like, want I want public urination. I want them to. I want some of our players to be arrested for pissing on him on the field. You he, fucking he get little that. prick. Oh. It is it. <laughs> I was gonna say, is it him? But it is him and his family. But no, I love this. I love the rivalry. Is like got to this point again because their fucking arrogance is at an all time high. It, like it's that it hasn't been this high in a while, and I'm glad because when we when we beat them, it just makes it that much sweeter every time it happens. Yeah. And they have to make every... all the excuses as to why it happened, just like last year. Yeah, the excuses to why it happened. Oh, they're beautiful. Tron well, Sark not... made mistakes. Uh oh, questioning Sark, are we? Is that allowed? I thought we were rooting for the recovered alcoholic. We got to root. Okay. We got to root for him. He's a recovered alcoholic. What a um. We, we well, I'm thinking of it, Sean. Well, I'm thinking of it, Sean. What um? How are we doing on recruiting? Because I th- I know we got our four star running. We back. got he like committed. a super duper fast. Uh, running back a couple days ago. It's pretty neat. Do you think he's going to be a five star by uh, the actual signing time? I don't know. Who cares if he's a five star? He's good. No, I, it's just for class rankings and everything. He's like a he's like a he's like a composite three hundred player who's like a four star. He's not going to be a five star, dude. Those five stars have already been identified. <laughs> By the, the oh, okay. like there, there's very, there's very few guys who jump to five star status. Now there there might be some, like there there might there might be a PJ out of Bari out there. You never know. Uh, but th- those five stars have been identified. That's why I was curious. Um, with it because I was I was looking through um the recruiting and stuff, and I know like we're looking at Ty Haywood. Um, yeah, we're well, looking at him. All right. <laughs> Well, yes, I, I I understand that. We are um, looking at Ty Haywood as a as of a bunch of other programs, but yes, Ty Haywood is very very heavily predicted to go to us, and we need all the tackles we can get of high caliber. Yep. I would Same like thing to with I would like to um, get the kid one, from Elgin. Well, I would like to get one more if I, like highly talented, you know, four or five star tackle. Uh, uh, Fauci would be great. I don't know if we're going to get Fauci, but it'd be fucking sweet if we did. Um, the, like the we're only gonna, ones I have, Jonah Williams is the only other five yeah. star I know. For Jonah Williams is the other guy that we're pretty much guaranteed to get as of this moment. Who who is going to play? We, to, he's going to play safety as opposed to linebacker. So how are we feeling on some of the other positions like uh quarterback and picking up Coleman? Um, well, we we, we then, already have it. We already got a quarterback. So well, yes, I wasn't sure. Um, for the rest of it, who's transferring like, um, to Denton Geyer where Jackson Earl played? So, because mom did, yeah, it was a, it was a pain in the ass for mom to drive back and forth. Yeah, because that was the Carl Albert um one, and that they went, they're just moving back. Is it, is he gonna leave Oklahoma? No, like oh, calm, like calm yeah, the fuck down. Yeah, it's gonna be fine. Yeah, I mean, honestly, like I like, will say, just watching uh, him, he he was yeah. He like was you can like, never uh, say never with shit, but it's like I don't know. Like I'm not worried about quarterback recruiting anymore at this point. Like yeah, like. If you would have told me like December of 2021 that quarterback recruiting would be fine, I'd be like, I'd be like, all right, I would have calmed down a lot. But that was like a major concern when the yeah. fucking traitor fucking left. Is like, oh, there goes our quarterback recruiting. Oh, never mind, we're good. <laughs> Actually, Sean, I do have one more thing before we wrap up. While I'm thinking of it, 
Texas dropped the ball in softball, literally. So is that going to be a um, number one probably versus number two? Wait, did they lose this now? weekend? I actually did not. Yeah, they, well, they yeah, lost they two lost. games this series. Uh, they lost to Oklahoma yep. State in both their series, uh, for game one and game three. So they lost I've this seen weekend? That a... Those yeah. fucking conferences yes. lost? Yes. Yeah, they did. Yes, not, they I'm did. not picking it up. They really did. Mother and here's the thing. No, I'm not kidding you. Those... They lost. To... Well, no, here's the crazy thing. They actually lost to Oklahoma State on their final game, only allowing one hit but giving up three runs. God, those fucking douchebags had one job. That's what and I was. It, I was saying, like you fucking what, turds, what, um, you in a uh, fucking job. Oh, you in Texas this weekend? Yeah. It's gonna be probably be like one or versus six or one versus seven or something like that. So no, they're not gonna drop that far. So Stanford. I, you can, I just. So, so I mean, not gonna drop that so, so Stanford's going to be like number two this weekend. I think like Georgia, Duke, or, and Stanford will probably be in that top five. I just don't see them in the top five. One now we're now I know we're going to beat their asses. So much for the big like one versus two series. They don't have a solid defense in Texas. I mean, they've already gotten like thirty-seven errors. It was supposed season. to be like the biggest thing ever, and now, and now Eric Lopez is sad. He's very sad. He was very looking forward to the one versus and, two, and now Texas uh, fucked it up for everybody. Great job, Texas. You know, I, I understand that Oklahoma had like a rough like seventh inning with Kansas the other day, and uh, oh, the, don't get me started because with they, that yeah. because they put Nicole May in there to close, and she had a rough outing, which it's like yeah. I probably could have told you that Nicole May would have had a rough cold start. It was like, don't make Nicole May a closer. I'm sorry. No. Like Patty, I love you, but that was like a, a dumb move. It's not just Nicole May as a closer. <laughs> Nicole May has always had issues with sometimes with consistency, and it's like, you know, she might well, have no, a good yeah. her first like this season specifically. She's had I don't care when you put her out there, she tends to have a like it takes her about an inning and a half to get going. Well, and I'm not saying it's just this season; it's been also throughout her career as well. No, she's really good. I'm, but I'm saying, like specifically this year, like to start when she starts, it's like usually it's a little rough out outing in the first inning. But now you throw her out there as a fucking closer, and it's like just to get her that. And all of a sudden, Kansas is like a couple of swings of the bat away from winning the game potentially. I mean, because I, I was nodding off, falling asleep, and I woke up. Why is the game still on? Wait, it's seven to three. Kansas got two on. What the fuck happened? I literally nodded off because I thought it was over. Yeah, it's like oh, you put what was it? Like, you you cracked that you joke with it. You cracked that joke to Eric, where it's like, yeah, after like seven in one of the games or something, I walked away. That's all I need to see. Well, no, it was That's against. Fine. Well, it was against some fucking garbage team. The other, it wasn't like against a uh, fucking Kansas. It was, was against it? like it was like UT was it Arlington. Or, it was like ba Texas, it was like UT. Texas Arlington was who they played a little. Yeah, UT Arlington. I was like, I'm fucking done. I'm not watching the rest of this shit. <laughs> Like the one series yeah. I was looking forward to most of the most of the year, and now it's not even gonna be one two. You fucking turds! Every time, well, too, and, every time they get we we have a good game with them for softball, they drop the ball. Literally, they did it last year and what the year before that too. Fucking turds! Yeah, one the problem two. is, it's like OSU in Texas. Though it's almost been like they're always like in the battle for the second place right there in the conference, you know. And it's like they always, you know, stoop down to their opponent's level. That's the problem. You know that I I, I'm, I'm going. I'm going full heel this week. I'm just going to go full heel, as if I haven't done that already. But I'm going to go full heel against Texas this week, where it's like, you know, maybe we shouldn't travel to Austin. Maybe we should call up Stanford and say, "Hey, can we travel over to you guys and get a real challenge?" <laughs> yeah, go up against Kennedy. I, I, I'm going to go. Yeah, I'm going go full Paul Heyman. I Means ladies can he actually and gentlemen, not only strike out. Like next week, next Saturday is going to be ridiculous so because, in theory, you're going to have Texas, o Oklahoma versus Texas, one versus two. That's not happening. It'll be one versus whatever. Um, you got the final four and you got night one of WrestleMania. So that's <laughs> next, true. Yeah. yeah. Now, next Saturday is going to be insane. Now, obviously, the, the conflict, the real conflict is the final four and night one of WrestleMania. But to be fair, the only match people care about night one of WrestleMania is a tag team match at the end with Cody and Seth versus Rocket Roman. 
That's the only match we will care about. And if I'm not, uh, if I'm not mistaken, isn't that first game on ESPNU though? If I'm not mistaken, or but, but that's like Friday though. I think that's the Friday game. I, no, I know it's Friday, but I'm just saying the network. Isn't that going to be on ESPNU? If if that. Remind yeah, but I mean, I don't think correctly, but, but that's like the first game. I think it's going to be on two or plus or whatever. So it doesn't matter to me because I'll be on ESPN plus regardless. Well, I... so. Okay. Yeah. Just like the, one, there, the first one. I know the Sunday's game... ESPN plus. No, the, the first game is so, on ESPN. Uh, I, I don't know. Right. I, it's just like, I think it's just going to be very interesting. I'm trying to look at fucking it. drop the ball. Fucking. I mean, they. I would the be ball. surprised if they're going to be uh four because Georgia dropped. Well, they'll uh, announce the rankings tomorrow. Dropped a couple games. The ball, just like Quinn literally Miller did. You know. And, and no, no, that was his the ID. Us. Still, I cannot. No, you're talking about Arch. Yeah. I'm talking about Ewers when, like, you know. Oh, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. Before we fumbled the ball yeah, and yeah. Central Lynch picked it up. Yeah, yeah, you're right. You're right. You're but, right. Yeah, by the way, we have like 12 All American corners this year. That, that, that's just how good the defense is. And they're all going to play at the same time. Can we put them and, on and, offense, too? See and, what they can do? Have play, play uh, they're all, sides of the ball? Well, six of them are going to play Cheetah. So, you know. No, like, oh, okay. So it'll, it'll just work. Just rotate all the Cheetahs. Uh, we we never talked about yeah. we even never we never talked about tight ends or wide receivers or anything like that. But well, because you know. the tight end room is much, y'all wanted uh, to talk about like basketball and shit. Well, because there's not really a whole. I lot blame to talk you for that. I didn't. Okay, that's fair. You don't want to um, talk about tight end. You want to talk about da- da- Davon Mitchell. You don't want to talk about Davon Mitchell, who's like the best tight end on the field right now, and will make plays. I mean, he's the only tight end on the field right now. <laughs> no, he's not, dude. We have we actually have I mean, a tight I, end. No, we actually have a tight end room this year. Bauer Sharp is no, I understand awesome. that, but I like, mean it's Bauer, Sharp, up Bauer Sharp can actually catch and block. You know, like it's like we we, we know we actually Caden Helms is that believe it or not, Caden Helms is actually in pads. That's real. Caden Helms is actually wearing pads and kind of practicing. I don't believe you. Don't believe you. Dude, he That's was in just a, a rumor. No, he had fucking pads on in a fucking inter- interview. I have video to prove it. Fuck you. So, <laughs> like, we actually have a tight end room now. Like, Deion Burks is going to, like, make grown men cry. Yeah. I mean, like, like I, I guess it was just my, in my mind, like, the tight end room's fine right now. Like, there's not really a lot to mention because they're doing what they're supposed to be doing. Same thing with wide receivers. Maybe, like, 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 dude, we took a, we got a five star for 2025 and reclassified and should be like going to junior days. Like, <laughs> like he's going to, like, we got him, we got Dion Burks, we got Nick Anderson, mm-hmm. Jane Gibson is like doing shit. Um, Fuck it, man. Our wide receiver room is going to be good. Fuck Texas. Yeah, man. because we briefly mentioned it with Andrew getting injured that uh, we're yeah. not. If this was last year, yeah, this would be detrimental. But this year with the room being so stacked, his injury, if it is prolonged, we do have other guys stepping up. And that's in addition to the uh, the experience and stuff in there already. Deion Burks is going to like steal someone's candy. It's going to be great. Like Again, Burks is gonna fuck some shit up in the SEC. It's gonna be great. I cannot. It, wait. I, if the O line can hold up, though, that's what it's gonna come down to. Okay, but we're not gonna play yeah. against like. Th- that's the other thing. The one thing I have hope for, as much as I bitch about the O line, like I mentioned before, who who are the great defenses we're going up against on our schedule? I mean, you tell me. I'm maybe not going to include make... Texas just because of how anomaly of a game that is. Like, maybe Bama? Bama. Maybe? I would say Bama. Bama. LSU, you got to prove yeah, it to me ba- first. Yeah, Bama for sure. Like, like LSU is our last game of the year, so I... we'll know if they're worth a shit. But you got to prove it to I, me first. I, I, I just never trust. Here's the thing. I never trust a Brian Kelly coach because team because... You know, the problem is, especially is like there's defense a, I mean, just don't put in your always... key. To, I mean, hopefully he doesn't put any his key defensive players on a scissor lift on a windy day anytime soon. That'd be disastrous. Oh, Ugh. take out half his defensive line. Oh. 
I mean, that's like you think you think Brian Kelly could give an ideal four scissor lifts. I'm still surprised nothing. And I, I guess there's just a different classification for people that can get punished and who can't. But I'm still surprised like that came out and just like it was brushed under like, oh, yeah, that happened. OK, uh, that, that's well, we don't want to make Jesus angry with us. So, no. Yeah, I will always make Brian Kelly scissor lift jokes because he should be in fucking jail for allowing that to happen. Like he was like that, yeah. that, that it was yeah. fucking criminal. So if anyone says how that's inappropriate of you, you know what's inappropriate? Brian Kelly not doing jail time. That's inappropriate. <laughs> There's a lot of that's coaches that should be probably be doing jail time. Yeah. When a kid literally yeah. is tweeting from the scissor lift saying I'm scared is the last thing he says before he fucking dies. So yeah, I will make Brian Kelly scissor lift jokes till the end of time, as I'll make fun of Joe Paterno for rotting in hell for you know all the shit he allowed to happen under his watch but yeah just like brian kelly he should get an nil deal with scissor lifts i think it'd be the most funniest fucking thing ever yeah it's a uh come down to brian kelly scissor lift in, like in emporium i mean we got killer of- deals like I said, there's not a lot of coaches that should be coaching mm-hmm. right now, but that's just me being me. So, mm-hmm. so. Well, you got the NC State coach who allowed a player to okay. die on his watch during practice. Mm-hmm. Yeah, back in the day. All right. So, yeah. You're trying All to. All right. Well, I found out found out the network stuff finally. For. <laughs> Uh, the softball game against Texas for the weekend. Well, they might cancel. Well, they might cancel. Uh, basically, ESPN U for the first game. ESPN's the second game, and then it's on ESPN Plus for the third game. Softball. Yeah, I mean, they might they might as well cancel the broadcast because Texas fucked up. Yeah, they dropped the ball. They they didn't hold up their end of the bargain. Yeah, I mean it should. I mean, should we award them for dropping the ball by putting it on the Longhorn Network at this point? Well, no, I don't think it's like n- no. That, that's rewarding them. They don't deserve a reward. Yeah. <laughs> either. Oh, either way. I mean, it just sucks that that game was going to be so big, and then they just couldn't. Yeah. It sucks. So. Yeah. Sean, Gavin, I'm, I want to thank y'all for joining me tonight. Everybody, thanks for tuning in. It's been a while since we had one of these, so I'm glad I was able to host one of them. Be sure to comment, rate, subscribe, like, hit the notification bell when you know we go live, upload video. We've got a lot of content planned coming up these next couple months as we enter the SEC. Sean, any final words? Um, we have one, two, three, four, five months to go. Yeah, five months. Gavin, final words? Uh, I was just going to say, uh, besides that, uh, don't forget, we're keeping an eye on the flippity flops uh, going on over Ann Arbor for the women's gymnastics team. Oh, don't worry. Like the men's and women's will, will win that. will win that easy again this year. Right. Yeah. yeah. Because they Absolutely. don't drop the ball. That's the plan. So. Yeah. No, a, they, it, they it's, flip yeah. over them. I mean, yep. they're they're really good at uh, getting high BCS scores and stuff like that and re- ranking. Exactly, mm-hmm. exactly, record breaking ones. So, Boomer Sooner guys, only one. See y'all here in a couple of weeks for our just monthly hangout. Later, have a good one. See ya.